PlayStation 5 account security relies on two-factor authentication to protect your valuable gaming account and digital library from unauthorized access. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, adds a critical second layer of security beyond just your password. Instead of relying on one method, it requires two separate forms of verification. On your PlayStation 5, you can enable two-step verification through the Security Settings menu. This feature is currently disabled by default, but should be activated for maximum protection. Backup codes are your emergency access method when your primary two-factor authentication fails. These are single-use, randomly generated codes that serve as a safety net for your account. You can access your backup codes through the two-step verification settings. The system typically generates eight to 10 unique codes that you should store securely offline. Remember these critical facts about backup codes. They are single use only. You typically receive eight to 10 codes and they must be stored securely offline like important documents. Think of backup codes as emergency keys to your PlayStation account. They provide essential access when your phone is lost, damaged, or unavailable, ensuring you never lose access to your valuable gaming library and account. To generate backup codes on your PS5, you need to navigate through the system settings. Start by going to Settings, then Users and Accounts, then Account, then Security. In the Security menu, you'll find the two-step verification option. This is where you can manage your backup codes. Select Two-Step Verification, then choose Backup Codes. You'll need to authenticate with your current two-factor authentication method to generate the codes. Proper storage of backup codes is crucial for security. Store them offline in multiple secure locations. Never save them on your phone, computer, or any digital device that could be compromised. When you lose access to your primary two-factor authentication method, you can use a backup code. During login, when prompted for your verification code, select the option to use a backup code instead. This is critical. Immediately after using a backup code, you must generate a new set of backup codes. Each code can only be used once, so your remaining codes are now one fewer. If you lose access to all your two-factor authentication methods and backup codes, you'll need to contact PlayStation support for manual account recovery. This process can take several days and requires identity verification.